Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Going at you 19 in February. Bit of a squirrely day yesterday. Um, stocks down, then back up, then down. Now back up again. Um, gold back up. Not back down at all. Big move in gold. Um, Open at 85. We did end up smashing through 98 in the figure. Uh, 07 the high. Never really got back down through the figure. Um, gold looks very constructive here. Uh, next big point is 14. Uh, looks like we're definitely in for a touch of 14 and maybe some further movement. If it's ES driven, then I don't know what's going on because ES really didn't do a whole heck of a lot. Uh, you know, we, we did, we got down to 55, but then we ended up closing up at 70. Now we're up at 80, 78. Not doing too much. Bearish engulfing. Uh, for confirmation, we need prices back below 55 today. So we'll have to see if this is perhaps the turn. We're still on the sort of tactical short, just day trade short side of this thing. So we're looking for places to sell stocks and buy them back in the same day. Uh, so we're selling high ones. Today, uh, we'll be looking between 84 and the highs, the all-time highs of 92. Euro got smashed. Uh, really shocked me this. I was not ready for this at all. Um, good empire numbers kind of really started the whole move lower. We, we charged through the figure. There were it looked like there was a lot on the bid there, but maybe it was a spoof. Uh, but anyway, yeah, we charged through the figure all the way down to 86. 90 has been the low today, and now we're at 94. Don't really know what to do with this. We're waiting for some sort of turn, but boy, there's no turn in sight with these bars. This is uh, serious, serious trendy stuff. Um, feeling a little bit remiss that we weren't more active and on this uh, but euro is getting smoked and uh, it looks like there's no no end in sight which usually means there is an end in sight but um, just smashed yesterday we did we did get back up to 22 uh, right around fixed time uh, but just can't get out of its own way, Euro. As far as data in the Euro today, we do have current account in Euro. It's kind of a not a very important number, so we won't really worry about it. And uh, just see what happens, waiting for some sort of confirmation that uh, this will consolidate and then perhaps turn. The reason we care about it is Euro Swiss, um, which also pretty much got hammered. 07 low in kind of a bullshitty um, Asian y type of low. Quickly back up to 21. Uh, now we're here at 14. Hasn't really done what we wanted it to do. Um, we're right here at break even. We're going to probably have to just give up on this thing. Uh, we'll see how it goes in the European Open. But like we said yesterday, in order for Euro Swiss to turn higher, Euro has to turn higher. No signs of that yet. Uh, one could argue the gold move may help a weaker dollar, but I don't know, that seems to be grasping at straws that. Uh, so we're we're cautiously watching this. Uh Looks like we're getting ready to uh, to exit. It hasn't really done what we wanted it to do. We wanted, you know, what we were looking for are, are green days, consecutive green days. What we got is red, green, red, red, green. 
could be consolidation, uh, but wasn't what we were looking for. Yesterday we looked at this uh, sterling yen at that 75 area. Got a move down to um, to 30, but then mysteriously uh, shot higher. We do have CPI out of uh, the UK today. This will be this will be important. We cut that uh, sterling yen at break even. Now we're just kind of sitting here watching. Both sides, you could argue, are in play. We have 143.50 and 140.90 sterling yen in play. Cable, it's not quite as clean. Um, but 130.70 is important. 128.75. Um, the reason sterling yen is holding up is dollar yen is finally making a move higher. Uh, made a move up to 12, which matched last week's highs. We have this very, very important eye up at 30. Uh, don't know what to do with dollar yen. I'm a little bit uh, surprised we're here. But can't ignore the fact, uh, you can't ignore one, one ten thirty. Through there really opens up the top side. Uh, we've been consolidating now around this for for two weeks, really for almost all of February, we've been 109.50, 11010. Uh, so, got to keep a close eye on this. First point of interest will be 15, but then the real big point is 30. And, you know, this looks like an old fashioned break trade, right? How do you trade this? You don't like being long here, so you just have to wait uh, and see how it looks up there, see if there's volume, uh, news, and momentum to take it higher. Uh, it's failed so many times up here. We're all a bit cautious. I think last Wednesday we, we bought through that trend line at 02. It was immediately 10 bid, but then it just you know turned quickly. So we'll have to see. This is very, very interesting. Um, I think you got to use the momentum play here. Uh, maybe through 15 and through 30. Dollar CAD looked like it was going to run away higher yesterday, but then just kind of turned and, and, and fell fell in on itself. Crude did also a, a massive turnaround. Nothing really to say here in Dollar CAD. We're just going to keep away from it. Let's look at that crude chart. We got bearish at that sort of 51.80 mark yesterday. And, um, you know, it just kind of worked out, you know, went a, went a percent and a half. But it was really, we were really surprised on this move back higher. Um, that looks really constructive now, right? We closed above the day before's highs, fully engulfed, new highs today. Uh, this should be moderately risk on and good for CAD, good for MEX, uh, although those correlations are not what they used to be. Finally, Bitcoin uh, gave you an opportunity uh, down at 9,500 yesterday or 9,600 yesterday, back up at 10,100. Uh, we like Bitcoin higher. We think the world, there's a lot of crazy stuff going on in the world and the safe haven play the best safe haven play is Bitcoin and so you just want to try and buy low ones in Bitcoin uh, it's a little bit tricky <clears throat> this is the cash Bitcoin uh, we traded on the CME you can obviously any most all Forex brokers have Bitcoin now um, and then you have the weekend risk it gets very volatile on the weekends, but core long Bitcoin uh, is something that, that we like. Not a whole heck of a lot uh, to sink our teeth in to start here. We're looking at this dollar yen top side. Those are very important levels. We'll be following this cable CPI very, very closely. We also have CAD CPI today, uh, which will be interesting. Bunch of Fed speakers. Um, the main focus is to see what dollar yen is going to do here. Uh, we'll be selling high ones in stocks, long Bitcoin, and 
watching this these releases these CPI releases oh yeah one last chart really nice chart uh, Kiwi Yen where is this guy 77 the figure in Kiwi Yen very important level if we go risk off um, the Kiwi shot side will be driving it you would argue but big long consolidations here all throughout February and uh, lots of lows and a pivot now 70 uh, 70 the figure is very important Kiwi yen we're a third of a percent away in that stuff right now so it's not really in play per se but uh, this this is important Anyway, that's all I got for you guys today. Uh, have a good trading day ahead. I'll catch you all tomorrow.